Hey guys, what's up? It's Edge, and today I'll be teaching you how to make a ball roll on a surface like that. So here's what it looks like. So it looks pretty realistic. I was just messing around with some expressions today and I found this, so I thought I'd make a tutorial on it. Alright, so just open up new composition, make a background, just make it black. And then I'm just going to make a surface. I'll make that white. Just bring that down. Alright, so then you want to go to Layer, New, Shape Layer, and get the circle. And you want to press Shift, because if you did not press Shift, it would look like that, and that's not a circle. So you want to press Shift and it'll stay a circle. And then I'm gonna make this so it's nice and centered. And make sure the anchor points. Alright, it's, it's pretty decent. Okay, so you wanna click on this, not this, because if you move this, your anchor point, anchor point will be all messed up and that won't look good. So move the entire shape layer over here, or just on your plane, wherever, and let me get rid of this stroke, and then what you want to do is, I'm just going to make a little marker so we know that it's rotating, okay, so here's the ball, and here's the marker, and get your opacity up, okay, like, so you can see it well. Okay. So there's our little ball. And you just want to go into the transform and do the posi position like you normally would. So I'll just make it go across like that. Alright, so that's that looks decent. But you can't, it's not rotating or anything. So, what you want to do is press on the stopwatch and press Alt to bring up the expression key. And then take this uh, pick whip and drag it to the position. And what this will do is make the rotation in sync with the position. So, now if we look, it looks like it's actually rotating, like it's rolling down that surface. And even if we do uh, like ease in, and make it really easy in. It'll still, it'll still look good. Like it's slowing down. So that was just something cool that I found. Thought it'd be really useful for simulation graphics and stuff. So I'll be doing a lot more tutorials uh, later in the year. So thanks, guys. See you later.